Hey there, Joey from Day Job Hacks. Today I'm gonna to talk about 10 alternatives to Facebook ads. Why am I doing a video about alternatives to Facebook ads when everybody claims it's the best place to advertise online? Well, it's no secret, Facebook constantly bans accounts for no reason. They blame it on their AI technology, a few glitches here and there, but it just seems to happen at the worst times. And this video is actually coming to you on Black Friday, where I'm already seeing in some of the Facebook ad buyer groups or other groups online, people losing their accounts on one of the busiest days of the year for sales, especially in e-commerce, okay? So, that is why I'm doing an alternative to Facebook video. There are alternatives, there are places to get massive amounts of traffic that actually converts. Now I know there's a lot of businesses out there struggling with their Facebook ad accounts and they're probably wondering why they're getting banned. I've actually done another video on the topic and I'll put the link up above, it'll pop up on 14 ways to avoid an account ban on Facebook. Um, if you wanna check out that video as well. If you like these types of videos, also please like my channel, subscribe, click the little bell icon, and let's go into the 10 alternative traffic sources um, that work extremely well. Number one, Google Ads. We're talking Google Display and Google Search Ads. If you have any type of product that you sell online, it'll pretty much work on Google Ads, okay? Now there are some restrictions, obviously you can't sell casino ads, you can't have high make money, um, scammy courses out there that you know, you're talking about people making a ton of money online, you can't do that kind of stuff. There's a bunch of different rules um, and it's one of those traffic sources that really works well for e-commerce, they have a shopping center where you can actually put up shopping ads. So if you're not already on Google Ads, it is definitely the first place I would go if you're having troubles with your Facebook ad account, okay? They also have the pixel technology, they have the retargeting, it's basically the best out there next to Facebook. Um, number two, let's talk about YouTube ads. Now recently I just saw an e-commerce YouTube ad. I'll actually put the link down in the description. It got nearly a million views in four days. Can you imagine putting up an ad on YouTube for your e-commerce product and getting a million views on YouTube within a few days? Now tell me that person's not getting a ton of sales just from their YouTube ads, okay? So this is an excellent traffic source, super cheap traffic too on some placements. Um, and there's a whole different strategy there. If you're able to make videos and you can make funny videos or viral videos, you can actually make a ton of money. So check out that video down in my description and you'll see that people are having a lot of success with e-commerce. There's also videos out there that you can, you can actually get a little more aggressive in your videos and you can have the make money online videos. Um, they're a little more lenient and you're not gonna lose your account. They might ban your ads, but they're not going to ban your entire account, okay? So that's the way that I think online ad platforms should be operating. They shouldn't just kick you out like Facebook does and say, see you later, we never wanna see you again, but maybe perhaps just disable the ads and say, listen, this is why your ad was disabled and please try another one, okay? Uh, number three, let's talk about Microsoft ads or Bing ads. We've talked about these ads before on this channel, or I have, and actually it's one of those traffic sources that is excellent for affiliates, especially because there's a lot of traffic, it's cheap, and they don't mind you using bridge pages as much as Google does, okay? Bridge pages are basically landing pages designed to get people to click off to another website to buy a product or service or whatever it is, okay? So Bing Ads is great for that. You can actually get a $100 ad credit when you sign up at dayjobhacks.com slash Bing and you'll actually get uh, an opportunity to get an ad credit there. It is another search engine platform that you can actually buy search ads, but at the same time, you can also get audience ads, which are kind of like native ads, which I'm gonna talk about here in a bit. And you can get really, really cheap traffic there, and it actually converts on certain offers, okay? So it's actually an older demographic, I find, on Bing. So if you're running stuff like pain relief or anything related to finance, it seems to work well there, okay? And e-commerce works well as, as well, okay? Number four, Snap Ads, okay? So Snap Ads are a younger demographic, so if you have a product that is related to a younger demographic, let's say between 18 and 30, 
Um, it usually tends to work better there. And I mean, obviously it goes younger, but those people don't generally have credit cards. So if you're trying to sell stuff, um, you're aiming for the younger demographic, or if you're trying to get leads for your business, this works well as, as well, okay? Because a lot of the younger people are looking for auto insurance, they're looking for loans, they're looking for um, you know, mortgages maybe on a new house. All of these things are things that young people are looking for, believe it or not, and they tend to work well on Snap Ads. Now, of course, make money online also works on Snap Ads. However, it's a little more strict when it comes to putting up those ads. So you have to be careful on how you word your ads. Your videos have to be very um, well articulated so that you do not break the rules on Snap Ads. But another traffic source that is great because they will not just instantly ban you. They will, you know, pause your ads or they will disable your ad, but they will not disable your entire account like Facebook does, okay? Now this obviously is not the case every time. If you're constantly trying to pitch these ads that are getting disabled, then you're eventually going to lose your account on all of these platforms. So make sure you're reading the rules on these platforms as you continue forward trying different traffic sources, okay? Number five, Pinterest ads. I haven't ran them myself, but I know a lot of people in my space, which is affiliate marketing. I'm in a many groups, many forums. People are having success with e-commerce offers on Pinterest. Um, especially listicles or lists of products related to the same category. So you could have like, um, you know, 10 of the best home um, improvement products and you can have a list and then pictures of them all on Pinterest and the, the traffic itself is actually extremely high quality. The only problem is, is they don't have the massive numbers like you would see on Google and uh, Facebook, so the cost per click is a little higher, so you have to make sure you are very well positioned to sell products and you have a lot of experience in creating good sales pages and you're ready to go with good ads, okay? So don't just go there as a newbie and think you're gonna make a ton of money. I think you need to really pay attention to what you're doing before you go in and start buying Pinterest ads. Now the same applies for number six, which is LinkedIn ads. They are also very pricey ads and they are related more to the business area. So if you're ser selling service as a software, if you're selling uh, business to business products, or if you're selling, you know, make money online, again, another one that works well on LinkedIn or wealth related, investment related, anything about finance, these all seem to work well on LinkedIn. But again, you're gonna be paying a high price for those clicks. So you might wanna focus on high ticket offers or uh, lead generation where you don't have to actually sell anything, but you're getting high uh, amounts of commissions when you get leads from LinkedIn, okay? But uh, a great traffic source and you need to really have, again, a lot of experience to be paying this amount of money per click. Number seven is Twitter ads, okay? I have actually not ran Twitter ads myself. However, I know other people are having a lot of success there. One day I might try it. One day I might not. There's just so many other options out there, but Twitter ads is a big platform. You can get a ton of ads out there and I see them all the time on my feed. So I'm not gonna ramble on because I really honestly haven't tried them myself, but something to, to definitely check out as you continue looking for new traffic sources. So number eight is native ads. I love native ads. I've spent nearly a million on native ads as an affiliate marketer. It is one of the best traffic sources for affiliates because they allow you to do pretty much anything. You can have advertorials, you can have bridge pages, squeeze pages, um, you can sell e-commerce, you can try and get leads for other companies, and you can pretty much target anywhere in the world. So what are native ads? They're basically the ads at the bottom of every article you read on major news networks where it says you may also be interested in or you may also like these articles, and basically they are ads they're pictures with a headline and a description, and when you click on it, it goes to another article which is designed by the advertiser themselves, which looks like an article, usually an advertorial or a listicle, like I said, and I've done videos on that topic on this channel. Check it out on my channel. But basically, you're, you're making your ad and your page look like another news site or another article related to the topic you're advertising on, okay? It works extremely well because people are usually engaged in their content, they're reading content, they see your ad, they think they're getting more content, they go there and then eventually they click on something. If you're selling it, if you're trying to get a lead or if you're trying to get a sale, it's very easy to do as long as you know how to target the right placements. You use really great images 
headlines, all of that stuff. Now I've done a complete video again. I will post that up here. You can check it out on some tips on how to get the best results from native ads. Number nine is push notification ads. These are excellent ad types for anyone who wants to get right into people's phones and you want them to see a notification every time they open their phone or whatever it is. But you can also get the desktop ones which pop up on people's computer screens and when they're just browsing a website, all of a sudden a pop-up comes up on the bottom right corner, okay? These are push notification ads. You can get them in many different places. Uh, I've done videos on Rich Ads, which is a ad network that I've done some case studies on inside Powerhouse Affiliate. I've also used Propeller. I've used uh, Zero Park. Now, push ads are actually a great traffic source for affiliate marketers, again, because they allow you to do many things that Facebook will not allow you to do. For example, you can run sweepstakes style offers, which are email submits. You can run casino, uh, dating, make money online, crypto, all of these things you can do on push ads, which makes it attractive for many affiliates because those are a lot of the offers that convert extremely well, especially when people are looking for new ways to make money online and stuff like that, okay? So push ads, definitely check those out if you need an alternative. There's a ton of volume there. I've actually done a video recently on how to use push ads and then retarget those customers to, or retarget those people to sell e-commerce products through Google Display Network or Google Search and all of that kind of stuff. Number 10, TikTok ads, another traffic source I have yet to try. However, I've heard through the grapevine that there's a ton of cheap traffic on TikTok. I believe it's another one of those uh, traffic sources that is going to do well with a younger demographic. So if you have offers that are catering to the people in their 20s or 30s, then maybe that is something you wanna test. TikTok ads, video ads, all that kind of stuff um, are things that you should be looking into as an alternative to Facebook ads. Hopefully you liked those 10 options. I believe they are the best 10 options to Facebook ads. If you have any other alternatives to Facebook advertising, please post your comments below, post your questions, whatever else you want to say down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.